Namaste everyone. I am Nayan and I welcome you all to my channel. As we know, today we are on day six of our seven days yoga journey, four to fit. Thank you to all those who have been following me on this journey and sending virtual love and hugs to all of you. For those who are new, thank you for joining in today. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today's theme is intertwined. So let's get on to our mats. So arms joined in a namaste. Taking a deep inhale. On the exhale, closing those eyes. As we begin our journey to intertwine. Today, we will be doing some fun and challenging yoga poses for our body, which also require a lot of concentration of our mind. Take a deep inhale and open your eyes. Our first posture for today is Garudasana. Garudasana is a beautiful, beautiful posture for our lymphatic system and for building that immune power. It involves twisting of both the extremities, our hands and our legs. Let's see how it's done. Our feet close to each other spine erect and chin parallel to the ground. Now inhaling, we raise both our hands up in shoulder level. Now we intertwine both our limbs together, our hands and our legs. Now let's see how we intertwine. Your leg could be here, right leg on the left. So left leg is like an anchor, right leg goes around, your foot could be here, or just slightly above or go all the way into the twist. Same with your arms. You can be here or here or you can be all the way into twine. This is the final posture but there's no need to strain your body into the final posture. Let's come out and release. Now we try with the other side. So this time, right leg is the anchor. The left leg goes over and the left arm from outside. So the left leg is going to go over and the left arm from outside, right from inside. Hold for five, four, three, two, one and release. Remember to love your body and always listen to your body and never overstrain. Now we start with our seated posture for today. This posture is very beneficial as it provides a nice stretch for your triceps, for your hamstrings and the glutes area. It is also very calming on the mind. So if you are stressed and you want to just release it out, sit in Vomukhasana. For the practice of this asana, you might require a prop like a napkin, so keep it handy. Now we fold our right leg from the knee, get it on the left thigh. Our left leg will be folded from the knee. Now make sure that both the feet form one line with each other. So if the right foot reaches here, you will just balance it out with the left foot. So, we are here, so we balance it out. Remember not to over pull the leg which is underneath. Now back straight, both the palms on your foot. First we inhale, exhaling, getting our chin to the knee. Hold for five, four, three, two, one inhale up. Now the leg which is up, the same hand goes down. The opposite arm comes up. So here my right leg is on the top. So my right arm comes from the bottom and left arm will follow but with the prop and try to straighten the back and slowly and slowly will Try to get rid of the prop, touching our arms to each other. Then you can move the extra mile by 
interlock with it. Hold the stretch for five, four, three, two, one. Now for releasing the posture, first gently release your hands, then the leg from the bottom and from the top and just come to a seated pose. Now we do this with the other side. So left leg on the top this time, right leg at the bottom. Nice straight line with your feet. Inhale deeply. Exhaling chin to the knee. Hold for five, four, three, two, one inhaling up and now left arm from the bottom right from the top and chin parallel to the ground raise that head up and inhale exhaling close your eyes hold for five four three Two, one, inhale, exhale, release your hands, bend the leg. Okay, our third posture is called the Marjanasana twist or the entangled cat, if I make any sense. Let's get into a tabletop posture, your toes tucked onto the ground and shoulder and wrist in one straight line in front of you. Very nice. Now from here, Inhaling, we raise our left arm up, look at the left arm, exhaling into entangled kitten. You can be here, here or then go the extra mile and lift that right arm up. But that's completely optional. And just be here and enjoy that nice stretch. Keep smiling, keep smiling. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling back to tabletop. Now we do with the other side. Inhale, lift, exhale, and angle cat. Hold for five, four, three. Two, one. Inhale up and back to the center. Now let's begin with our last pose for today. It's called thread the needle. Very beneficial for sciatica, lower back pain, or just for a nice stretch in the hamstrings, tight thighs. Let's see how it's done. We'll roll over on our back. Folding both the legs from the knees. Now left leg folded on top of your right thigh. Now we'll get our right knee closer to the chest and thread the needle. So left hand will pass from the gap in between both the legs and right arm will interlock with the left palm. Inhale and exhale your head off the floor. A beautiful stretch it should come all the way to your hamstrings and the glutes. All stretched nicely. You have an option to keep your hands here or just thread. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release. Now we perform this with the other side. So we stand right leg on top of the left thigh. Now, threading the needle. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Hold for five, four, three. You can keep your hand here. Two. One and inhaling. 
release the posture. Just be on your lower back. Inhale, exhale, gather your breath. Now turn over from your right hand side and come to a seated meditative posture. Now be seated with palms planted onto your thighs, spine erect, chin parallel to the ground. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, close your eyes. Now we'll chant one deep O. Taking a deep inhale. And see you tomorrow with episode number 7, a final one from this series. Until then, Namaste from my heart 